Hello everyone, Roy Kirkhoffs here. Today I'm going to color a smaller photo of mine. This is a 12 by 8 inch photo on Fuji Crystal Archive photo paper. That is matte photo paper and it has a resin coating on it. Which allows it to uh, color it nicely with oils. So I'm going today, today I'm going to use again my Marshall photo oils to do this. A um, little bit about the photo. This is the southernmost tower on South Carlsbad State Beach. I've got tower number 20 and what it, what caught my eye was all the pebbles in front of it here actually to the side of it um, which lead as a which serve as a nice lead-in towards the tower so I'm going to color all the pebbles the tower maybe a little bit blue in the sky uh, we'll see so let's do it <laughs> So let's start with some burnt sienna, which, I'm going, which is the color I'll use the most here. I like this color a lot, I use this a lot for my beaches. As you can see I already cold mounted the photo on a backboard. And I like center mounted it because this is going to get a mat later and a frame. So I used my laminator to mount this piece on this self adhesive backboard. So I'm using cotton round to add the color. It allows for very smooth. Uh, surfaces without any brush strokes. There you go. I like to start with the larger surfaces, like as you can see here, and then add the details in later. Let's make this a, so with the clean side still. Let's remove a little bit of paint. That's the nice thing about using this resin coated paper so you can easily remove the paint. I could wipe this off completely even if I wanted to. There we go. Now let's add some blue. This is sky blue. I mean, that's just the name of the color, of course, so you can use it anywhere you like. But let's add some to the sky, like the name implies. And we'll kind of go around the middle of the sky here, so we'll keep the clouds in the middle white. I have a slight transition on the edges here. Like that, and add some to the ocean. I'm also going over the the breaking waves, but we'll remove that with a Q-tip. Also, let's with the clean side, let's smooth this out a little bit again. So we have a nicer transition from where the blue is to the white of the cloud. This looks pretty good. Let's do that now. So take a clean Q-tip and then just remove the paint here. And now what we'll do, we'll take some, you can also add paint with these Q-tips. 
So we're gonna add some to the to the pebbles here and there. And while doing that, it actually removes the, the burnt sienna underneath. Let's also remove a little bit of that burnt sienna here and there, the clean side. Just add some contrast. And then with a clean cotton round, let's tone down a little bit that blue. There's a little bit too much. And then let's take some orange. You can see my orange is exploding, my tube. And just add a few touches of that orange here. and then tone it down a little. There we go. By the way, if you'd like to see a video in which I use an alternative to Marshall Photo Oils, making your own transparent oil paint on inkjet paper which you can print on yourself please check out this video here now let's focus on the tower so we will also grab a little bit of background aqua aquamarine mix that with the blue we have already and get like a color in between so it doesn't blend in too much with with the clouds. Okay, and I'll tone it down a little bit. I find it easier to add the paint roughly and then afterwards get it to the value that you prefer. Maybe a little bit more here. And 
not touching very hard, just very lightly. There we go. And then maybe a touch of green in the vegetation here. Just a little bit. And that's it for the coloring. Now let's add a mat to it. This is a white, two inch white mat. I get this from my uh, local framer, but you can also get these online. You can even cut them yourself, but I don't really have the equipment for that. I do have a lot of equipment except mat cutter, a mat cutter. So because this is self adhesive, we can take this part off. Now this is the part that sticks. And we can just put this on. It's still wet, but if we, if we are careful enough, we can do that already. It's just going on top. My hands are clean. Then push it on. And then we'll sign it. This is Pebbles at 20. And my signature. And that's it. It's done. Well, that is, I still have to frame it. But in order to do that, I do want to dry it first before I put the glass on. So we have a nice 12 by 8 photograph on Fuji Crystal Archive matte paper colored with Marshall photo oils. So I hope you liked the video. Please hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.